Hey, happy November everyone. If you want to help out with men's mental health, suicide prevention and fight against prostate and testicular cancer, then all you have to do is click that link in the description below and donate. Imagine if you and every single person subscribed to this channel donated just one pound. We could raise thousands. It's one month and one massive problem that we just don't talk about. Let's change that with one solution right here, right now. If you can, please give. Thank you very much. Hello and welcome to the universe and to this video. Now the master is perhaps one of Doctor Who's greatest characters, a villain one second and a friend the next. This character has evolved and changed with the show and with the Doctor as the pair have worked together and against each other on multiple occasions. A villainous showman who is equal to the Doctor in almost every way. As part of Big Finish's audio based contribution to the Time Lord Victoria's patchwork, we have two new and exciting stories narrated by the brilliant impressionist and Doctor Who fan, John Coleshaw as he aims to transform our sense of sound with his impressions of two classic incarnations of the Master, with the original actors who are unfortunately no longer with us. They are done justice and shown the utmost respect during the performance in both tales. The stories are titled Master Thief by Sophie Isles and Lesser Evils by Simon Gurrier, with both tying into this huge event which seems to be very focused on the new era of the show, these two adventures take things back to the old days, but with the pacing and sense of scale and grandeur of a blockbuster epic. Firstly, Master Thief features Coleshaw's version of the Roger Delgado Master, who was in fact the original version of the character on screen back in 1971. Delgado gave a truly breathtaking performance as the character that made him such an iconic villain to behold and a legacy that turned a single character who would have been killed off into one instead that lasted generations and is still plaguing our blue box travelling Time Lord to this day. Master Thief is just great fun to listen to if I'm honest. Sophie Isles brings that fairly easy to follow plot to the table as the Master tries his hand at heisting, attempting to steal an artifact of great power, but this is where Isles comes into her own. The Master is a brilliant character not because he is pure evil, instead because somewhere behind the beard in that alien brain is a conscience, as his actions unravel and soon turn into a look at the Master's identity. The story fits so well into the Third Doctor's era with a real sense of sophisticated spies and stealthily stealing, well, that's until people get suspicious and the Master goes on the attack, in a brilliant fashion. His weaponry has always been great, but this latest device allows the Master to de-evolve his target into a primordial slime. It's a story full of inventive ideas, references and brilliantly written, and well described settings and action sequences that are so clear you could draw them in great detail, and John Coleshaw's mix of narration and vocal work as he inhabits all these different characters with ease, mixed with great sound design with space lasers, sound effects and so much more, it's so good. It's the shocking direction that the adventure takes as it nears its end which I'm not going to spoil here. But it is truly worth a listen as you get a full understanding of the Master as a character paired with some great action and emotion. As for how it ties into the greater narrative of Time Lord Victorious, while I can't think of anything major maybe we'll see the origins of the devolution gun or the planet species, but other than that I can't think of anything stopping a first time fan of the character and the classic era taking their introductory steps with this story. Next up we have Lesser Evils, a tale by Simon Gurrier featuring Coleshaw's version of the Anthony Ainley incarnation of the Master. This story is extremely small, smaller even than Master Thief, not in terms of its length but in terms of its scale and focus. It focuses heavily on one conversation, a conversation between the Master and a member of the fearsome Katuru. Now this is a great idea if I'm honest as it has the Master acting almost like the Doctor, wishing to save a species and a world from the bringers of death. But why? The sinister undertones and the Master's sophistication and cunning shine in this story with the Katiru a worthy adversary. The description of the planet Alexis along with the sounds of jungle creatures and foley work provides a really immersive adventure, almost like you're sat just to the side of this confrontation. As an introduction to the Katiru, it works perfectly, showcasing their power and sense of privilege well. If you've never listened to a big finished story, this adventure is just so good and is a great introduction to what they work so hard to create with the short trips, a cheap and cheerful way to spend a quiet evening during lockdown. If I had to choose one word to sum up these two stories, the characters, the worlds, the creativity and the captivation it crafts, it would have to be masterful. Thank you very much for watching this super short spoiler free review of Master Thief and Lesser Evil. Have you listened to these two stories? If so, what did you think? If not, are you interested in the adventures or are audios just not really your thing? Let me know in the comments below and let's get discussing. Also, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and of course subscribe for more Doctor Who stuff in the future from Time Lord Victorious to the build up towards the seasonal TV special. All that and much, much more. And all you've got to do is hit that red big friendly subscribe button. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.